let me discuss on chapter 1 meteorology and agricultural meteorology or agro meteorology which comes under agricultural meteorology of unit 2 meteo is the greek word that means above the earth's surface that is atmosphere logi means science lower atmosphere extends up to 20 km from earth's surface where frequent physical process takes place now let us discuss the difference between the meteorology and agricultural meteorology meteorology is the branch of science dealing with atmosphere it is a weather science it is also a physical science and weather forecasting weather service linking science to society agricultural meteorology is branch of applied meteorology deals with agriculture product of agriculture and meteorology it is a biophysical science improved quantity and quality of crop production through meteorological sales agro advisory service linking science to farming community let us discuss the importance of agricultural meteorology to crop production it helps in planning cropping pattern or cropping systems it is also helps in selection of sowing dates for optimum crop yields for preparatory or primary cultivation is also useful by this uh, meteorology harrowing disc plowing leveling and secondary cultivation after cultivation practices thinning and weeding etc eliminating the outbreaks of pest and diseases how we can manage the weather abnormalities like cyclones heavy rainfall floods and drought by protection avoid irrigation when rain forecast and apply irrigation when frost forecast avoidance means the avoiding of fertilizer and chemical sprays when rain forecasting is there mitigation use shelter built like cold and heat waves the effective environmental protection is to avoid forest fires there is a future scope let us discuss this one to delineate agroclimatic zones of, for effective and fast transfer of technology for improving yield to develop crop growth simulation models in different agroclimatic zones to develop weather based agro advisories to investigate microclimate aspect of crop canopy for increase in crop growth to investigate weather in protected environment there are different spheres of biosphere first one is atmosphere that is a sphere of air hydrosphere that is the sphere of water lithosphere that is the sphere of rock atmosphere let us discuss this one first Atmosphere is the colorless, odorless and tasteless physical mixture of gases which surrounds earth on all sides. Mobile, compressible and expandable and contains huge number of solid and liquid particles that is called aerosols. At lower temperature, chemical composition of gas is uniform that is called homosphere. At higher levels of atmosphere, the chemical composition changes considerably that is called heterosphere. Uses of atmosphere, it supplies oxygen that is used for respiration of animals and plants. It is also supplies carbon dioxide to the plants for photosynthesis, nitrogen for plant growth. It is a medium for pollen transfer, protect crops from harmful UV rays and maintains microclimate of the plant. The source of water to field crops by a way of precipitation. Precipitation includes rainfall, glacier, snow and dew. And let us discuss the composition of atmosphere. The atmosphere contains the nitrogen 78.08%, oxygen 20.95%, organ 0.93%, and the composition of xenon, neon, hydrogen, helium, krypton and carbon dioxide are furnished in this slide. There are different layers of atmosphere. The first layer is troposphere, then stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and the exosphere. Let us discuss one by one. First we will discuss the troposphere. Trope means mixing up turbulence. Sphere means region. Cloud, thunderstorms, cyclones, anticyclones occurs in this troposphere. It, this also called as seat of weather phenomena. 
From equator, it is located at 16 km. From poles, about 7 to 8 km. The lapse rate, what do you mean by lapse rate? A decrease in temperature due to increasing elevation at the rate of 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer. 75% of total gas and most of moisture and dust particles are present in this troposphere. At the top of the troposphere, a shallow layer separating it from stratosphere that is called as tropopause. Good friends, let us discuss now stratosphere. It is also known as seat of photochemical reactions. The temperature increase with height. It is about 20 km to 50 to 55 km away from Earth's surface. The upper boundary of stratosphere is called as stratopause. The maximum concentration of ozone is present between 30 and 60 km. That zone is called as ozonosphere. Ozone absorbs UV rays. If no ozone layer, most of solar radiation are absorbed by Earth, which resulted in no life on the Earth. High temperature is absorbed in ozonosphere called as chemosphere because of chemical process that takes place in this sphere. The next one is mesosphere. Most meteors burn up. The height of this mesosphere is about 50 to 80 km above the Earth's surface. It is the coldest temperature about minus 90 degrees Celsius or minus 130 degree Fahrenheit. Altitude of the layer of atmosphere is presented in this figure. The troposphere is located at 7 to 16 km away from the Earth's surface. Whereas the stratopause is located at 50 km away from Earth's surface and mesopause is located at 80 km away from the Earth's surface. The finally thermopause is located 500 km away from the Earth's surface. The next sphere is thermosphere. It is otherwise called as ionosphere lies beyond ozonosphere at height of above 80 km from Earth's surface and extending up to 400 km. It is enriched with iron zones that is also known as ionosphere. Temperature increases again in order of 1000 degrees Celsius aurora and satellites occurs. This is a special zone because this zone reflects radio waves because of presence of multiple, multiple reflections of short wave radio beams from ionized shells that results in long distance radio communication. The exosphere, the outermost layer of the earth is lying between 400 to 1000 km. The density of the atoms is extremely low. The Exosphere contains hydrogen, he helium gases that is very predominant. A decrease in temperature at 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer. The adiabatic lapse rate, it is the rate of change of temperature in ascending and descending air mass through adiabatic process. Adiabatic means thermodynamic transformation without exchange of heat between system and the environment. The final part of this presentation is the question and answer. The first question is the average lapse rate of air temperature is 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer is the correct answer. Layer which separates the troposphere from the stratosphere is known as tropopause. The coldest layer is mesosphere. The study of process of atmosphere is called as meteorology. That is the correct answer. For PDF and online test, contact me at my mobile and mail. Kindly subscribe, share, like and comment. Thank you.